Okay, I'm going to show you a cool trick with the Euler identity, which is this very weird equation, and the Taylor series, also kind of a weird equation. So the Euler identity gives relationship between an exponential and trig function. So if you take and imaginary numbers, surprisingly. So if you take uh, e to the i theta, you can that's the same as cosine theta times or plus i times sine theta. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of weird. The Taylor series says that you can represent a function expanded about some point, I'm, gonna, I'm using the point zero, as a infinite polynomial. Uh, so some coefficient times x to the some power, a sum of those terms, where the coefficients are the derivatives of that function divided by n factorial value at that same thing. Okay, so let's uh, do Taylor series for these three and show that they doing that shows a Euler identity is true. So if I have, let's start with e to the x. I want to write that as a Taylor series. So uh, let's write the first four terms. So I need to find a1, a2, a0, a1, a2, and I'm going to do it about x equals 0. So at x equals 0. So let's say, uh, let's take the derivative. This is f of x. And also could be written as that, but f of x. So let's take the uh, f of 0 because I'm going to do it at 0. If I put in x equals 0, I get 1. Let's do uh, f prime of x. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So f prime of 0 is going to be 1. And then I need to divide by n factorial, which we'll do in just a second. Uh, I'll just write that as n 1 factorial is equal to 1 f double prime of x is, yes, it's e to the x. So f double prime of 0 equals 1, and then 2 factorial equals 2. And let's do one more term. f triple prime of x is e to the x. f triple prime of 0 equals 1. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. So I can write e to the x as, I'm going to write uh, 1 plus 1 divided by 1 x plus uh, 1 1 divided by 2 x squared plus 1 divided by 6 x cubed. And then you keep going on. Okay, let me put that right here on another sheet of paper just so we can use it again. So I have e to the x equals 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 6 plus dot dot dot. And I'll come back to that. Now let's do cosine. And I'm going to say x because I don't know why. And we'll change the theta in a second. So cosine of x. So I need, that's f of x. So the first thing I need to do is to take f of 0. f of 0 is going to be cosine of 0, which is 1. f prime of x is going to be equal to negative sine of x. Now I take the derivative of x, which is just 1. Uh, so f prime of 0 is going to be equal to sine of 0, which is 0. So it's negative 0. And then uh, I have 1 factorial is 1, but it doesn't really matter. Then f double prime of x is going to be equal to the derivative of this, which is negative cosine of x. f double prime at 0 is going to be negative 1. And then I have 2 factorial is 2, because I'm going to divide that by 2. And then finally, f triple prime of x is going to be equal to negative... No, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. It doesn't really matter. Sine of x f triple prime of 0 is 0, and then 3 factorial is 6. So f of x equals uh, cosine of x, and that's going to be uh, 1 plus this term, 0 divided by 1, plus this term, which is x, uh, minus 1 half x squared, right, because I have the x squared term, then I have this one, which is going to be equal to plus 0. 
Okay, so let's write that down. So I'm going to put it right here. Cosine of x equals 1 plus 0 minus x squared over 2 plus 0. I feel like I did something wrong. Okay, let's just keep going. Um, wait, let me check my cosine. Yeah, that's right. Cosine is 0, negative x squared. Of, okay, that's right. Okay, now we're going to do a sine. So sine of x. f of x equals sine of x. f of 0 is 0. f prime of x is going to be equal to cosine of x. f prime of 0 equals 1. And then uh, 1 factorial equals 1. f double prime of x is going to be negative sine of x. And then I have uh, f double prime of 0 is going to be equal to 0. And then it doesn't really matter, but 2 factorial is 2. And then f triple prime of x is going to be equal to the derivative of this, which is negative cosine of x. f triple prime of 0 is going to be negative 1. 3 factorial is 6. So sine of x is going to be equal to 0 plus this, which is 1 over 1 x. Did I leave that off the other one? No, I didn't. So it's going to be x. And then plus this, which is 0. I'm going to put the zeros. And then that's the x squared term. And then minus x cubed over 6. And let's add that over here. I'll put it right there. Sorry, my sheets got messy. OK. Sine of x equals 0 plus x plus 0 minus x cubed over 6. OK, so now, now I see what I was, I was confused before. Now let's do one more thing. I want to do e to the, instead of x, I want to do i theta. So if I just replace x with i theta, then I can replace all these x's with i theta. So here I have 1. I, there's no i theta there. There I have plus i theta. Here I have i squared theta squared. So i squared is going to be negative 1. So I get negative theta squared over 2. And then lastly, I have this one. I have, I'm going to have an i cubed. So i times i is negative 1 times i is negative i. So I get negative i x cubed over 6. And then I have cosine x. I'm going to change that to cosine theta. Cosine theta, there's nothing I need to do except to put 1 plus 0 minus theta squared over 2 plus 0. And then sine theta, I'm going to put in theta in for x and multiply this by i. So I get i sine theta is going to be equal to 0 plus theta. But I had to multiply by i, so plus i theta. Uh, plus 0, and then minus i theta cubed over 6. So you see here, if I take these terms and to add them together, I get, let's put it down here, I get 1 plus 0, I get plus i theta, I get minus theta squared over 2, and then I get minus i theta cubed over 6. And these terms could keep on going forever, but you'll notice that this is the same as that identical. That's a joke from my cousin Vinny. Identical. Same thing. So e to the i theta is cosine theta plus i sine theta. The end.